Good morning. This is Carly Kovacic with the National Weather Service in Peachtree City. Welcome to the weekly weather briefing for the week of February 12th. We hope everyone enjoyed the mild weather while it lasted. It looks like winter is on its way to the south again. As you can see in the satellite image on top, a cold front is working its way across Georgia. Colder air lies in its wake and you probably noticed the chill this morning. However, a shot of colder air and windy conditions will work their way into the state late this morning and into the afternoon. That means you should expect temperatures to drop as the day progresses. We have a wind advisory in effect today and we will talk more about that on the next slide. No rain is expected with this frontal passage and any clouds present early in the day should give way to clear skies. The gusty winds today have led to the issuance of a wind advisory and a fire danger statement. The wind advisory is in effect for all of north and central Georgia from 11 a.m. through 6 p.m. Winds will be out of the northwest around 20 miles per hour with gusts up to 30 miles per hour. The winds will relax towards sunset into the overnight hours as the center of the surface high pressure moves closer to the area. The gusty winds will also combine with low relative humidity values of 20 to 30 percent to create a high fire danger. So, it is important today to refer to your local burning permitting authorities regarding whether to burn. If you do burn, use caution. A wind chill advisory has been issued for the higher elevations of North Georgia, mainly those elevations above 2,000 feet. This wind chill advisory is in effect from 1 p.m. this afternoon until 9 a.m. on Friday morning. Wind chills across this area will generally range from 0 to 5 degrees, but there could be some isolated areas that experience wind chills around 5 degrees below zero. So with this in mind, we are also going to be monitoring conditions for the issuance of wind chill advisories for Saturday night and Sunday as well. Dry weather will be in store through the rest of this week and into the weekend. However, another shot of Arctic air will plunge into the southern United States Saturday night into Sunday. This front will be the strongest we have seen in a while, with highs on Sunday not even reaching above 40 degrees for the majority of the area. We want to emphasize again that no precipitation will accompany this front, just be prepared for cold temperatures. The next system that looks to bring precipitation back to the region will likely impact the area late Monday through at least part of Wednesday. As of right now, both thickness values and temperatures point to mostly an all rain event across the area. However, we will be monitoring this closely for the potential of a rain and snow mix on the back side of this system as it begins to exit our forecast area. It is important to stay tuned to the latest forecast for updates as we get closer to this event. There are certainly a lot of model runs between now and then. Here's a glance at the high and low temperatures for the next seven days for Rome, shown on the top, Atlanta, shown in the middle, and Macon, shown on the bottom. Overall, expect cooler conditions from what we have been experiencing lately, with the coldest temperatures expected on Sunday. The forecast will be dry until the Monday night into Tuesday time frame, when rain begins to move in with the next system. In summary, winter will make a comeback today and linger for the foreseeable future. Today will be colder than what we've been used to lately, with gusty winds leading to a wind advisory and a fire danger statement. Dry and cold conditions will persist through the weekend with a reinforcing shot of Canadian air on Sunday. Sunday will be the coldest day of the forecast period, with many locations not making it out of the mid-30s. The next precipitation maker will impact the area Monday night and exit sometime on Wednesday. At the moment, it looks like a rain event, but it will continue to be monitored for the potential to produce a rain and snow mix as it exits, mainly across North Georgia.